Aquarius, message from St. Michael, Shamrock Tarot, general reading rules could be reversed, may not resonate, cash apps open for gratitude, if you have questions or want to jump the line, you leave a cash app, that's how we do things around here. Aquarius. please okay this has come up a couple times for you in the past couple readings an invitation to connect merging Ascending from the 4D to the 5D, but you have to drop <clears throat> your judgment on people. This is Alana Fairchild, Lightworker Oracle Guidebook. An invitation to connect. Love exists throughout our universe. Many loving beings that do not belong to the human race exist in worlds beyond the earthly realms. Among these are those who are aware of the spiritual light of humanity and are willing and able to help us move forward. Unlike those who close their minds because they fear the unknown, you have an open mind and an open receptive heart being from other worlds recognize you as a receptive channel for the unconditional loving assistance in this world you will both benefit from this individuality and help the planet so you are being in it offered an invitation to connect there are many dimensions to existence for those who are developing evolved century perceptions, the senses will not be restricted to being impressed upon by the physical dimension. There are high dimensions that the physic or emotional nature can recognize, and even more refined dimensions that the higher mind can recognize. Beyond that, there are dimensions that the mind, even in its most expensive state, cannot grasp but the spirit knows to be real the more your sensitivity to stubble energy evolves the more aware you become of these worlds beyond this world for some this will be easy to accept and will inspire interest in learning more others may be tentative about exploring connections with non-earthly beings Ooh. great peace can grow in the heart of those who are unfair who are open to the idea of beings that are aware of humanity but not humans themselves who want to help humanity evolve and have a spiritual power to be able to do so no matter how mixed up and consumed by darkness the world may seem at times there are so many powers of light Working to see the earth and humanity through the most interesting times to see us into the new age of spiritual enlightenment. It is all part of the divine experiment of life. And there are many forces investing in these successful and loving evolutions of humanity. If you have ever been contemplating life beyond the earth, perhaps taking 
talking to the stars or gazing wistfully to other planets. If you have been intrigued by the mysterious codes of light and sounds you are sure are embedded in crop circles or simply have a feeling that you would like to work with beings who are more spiritually involved than humanity at present, then you are being given a clear message with this oracle. There are beings in other worlds that are very aware of your open loving attitude in the work you are doing. They are actively responding to your thoughts and feelings since we live in a free will zone on earth we must extend the invitation to receive assistance because you are unafraid and resonate from a place of peace curiosity and high level awareness you are capable of ensuring the need invitation to those that can assist humanity from a place of unconditional love of course there are forces of the border universe just as there are forces in the natural world here on earth that would not be so helpful to the triumph of love on this planet therefore we must issue our invitation to the forces of light with a peaceful heart and a wise mind you are asked to use this whenever you feel the need to do so um, being a part of a bridge between humanity and other loving worlds that want to assist life on earth. They thank you now and offer their blessing to you in a life on earth in all ways possible. Wow. page of coins there it is new invitation the new invite new ideas new adventures an offer you have finances on your mind it seems like you're trying you want more attention and more followers and the way that you're perceiving this is going on the wheel you are here to deliver messages of truth. So here's the invitation to move forward. Taking control and authority of your own life with a loving manner. Do of it, doing it from your heart space. Um, your voice, that rumbling, that's the channeling coming through. What, what spirits are trying to be in tune with you and... Um, vibrate through you it's a vibration vibration so um, your voice starts getting messed up if you don't allow things and doing it open heartily and open mindfully if not then you like I said in your last message you'll just stay down at 4 4 D you're worried about stability I mean you can't do this from judging it as stability you have to make it because it's your divine mission you know high priestesses and that we don't get paid that much money we think we're here to do a service for lord so if you're in it for the right reasons because you want to expand your horizons in the universe it's not for a reward for money it's a reward for your being for your divine mission with god Gemini trying to push through is a sister sign though too maybe you'll need to listen to Gemini's message too five of coins feeling rejected dumped that's my dumb card negative thoughts manifesting into real challenges fears surrounding money reach out to others for assistance poor timing for becoming self-employed you might have to get a part-time job 
Queen of Swords. Libra, lots of Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. You're all sister signs. I would um, listen to all three of these messages this week. Fixed. Libra is a fixed sign. You're the fixed. Libra is the cardinal. So Libra would be the leading of this. Brilliant, experienced, harmonious, judgmental, releasing situations for people that no longer serve, or serve you. Cutting out, fixing your budget too. Cutting out everything that you do not need. What do you need to survive? Everybody is going through this. Seeing the humor in difficult situations. Focusing on career. Divorced or unmarried individuals. Being transformed. The way you view things is being transformed here. If you want to go to the next level. All right, I'm not taking a big... Um, you can pick up a couple hours, you know, at the nursing home. Stuff like that. As an aid. They always need people there. Strength, personal power, and assertive portrayed with kindness. Compassion that brings about forgiveness. Realizing you're stronger than you knew. Having the strength and courage. That's one of the seven gifts of spirits. Having the strength and courage to push through these obstacles. Yeah, the girl in a wheelchair tried popping out and there's... Um, the old person so you know you can be an aide or peer support or something you always need aides at the nursing homes just tell them you're part-time you know express your your gifts a small token of love can convey great appreciation Love who you are. You are divine, delightful, and deserving of the wonderful things life has to offer. Now it looks like your boat is here, Six of Swords. Time to move forward. The only thing that is real is love. Shift your focus back on love. Mother Earth, be authentic. Be real and true to who you are and how you feel. Focus on love. Look for the good in everyone. All right, talk to you later. Bye.